today I will be doing my last inventory tour ever in Adopt Me. And before we get into that, I actually want to give away this evil rock to one of you guys. To enter to win, all you gotta do is leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. If you guys are wondering why this is gonna be my last inventory tour ever, it's because I will never do another inventory tour unless I complete my entire collection in Adopt Me. Okay, you guys, so I'm not gonna waste any time at all, and I actually thought it would be pretty iconic to start this inventory tour at my very first house. So this is my tiny home. I know it's very depressing, millennial gray. I followed a YouTube tutorial. It's not like I came up with this on my own. You know, we got a cute little kitchen, the pet bowls. There's even pet bowls hidden in the bed, a very aesthetic bathroom. But again, it's actually just, you know, it's so gray and lifeless in here. So we're gonna work from the bottom all the way to the top. The pets are gonna be safe for last. Let's go ahead and look over the wings. I don't have many wings. I only opened some wing boxes, you know, when they first came out into the game. I only have two legendary wings. And you know, I do have this one standard wing chest. So let's just see what we get if we get anything different. Oh no. Oh, or wait, are these new? I think that's the first time I've opened wings since they changed like what's in the wing boxes. But yeah, guys, I don't have many wings. And unfortunately, there's not a wing section yet in the journal. So I can't even check the ones that I'm missing. But yeah, that category is boring. Let's move on to the gifts. This is one of my favorite sections. I'm gonna be very careful, but this is one of my favorite items that I own. It is the normal. Christmas gift. You know, you had a chance to get one of the Christmas toys or the Christmas egg. And we'll skip the duckling box for just a second so I can show you the golden gift. Now, this one had a way higher chance to get a Christmas egg out of it. I have four of these, so that's almost four guaranteed Christmas eggs. Next up, we have the duckling box. I need to get some more of these because I didn't get to play the Easter event and like, you know, open up really many any ducklings. We have the hair boxes that just came out, the hermit crab box. I'm only going to show the ones that I think are like older and cooler. We do have a lunar tiger box. This isn't that old. Unfortunately, the lunar boxes never hold value. And then of course, we just have some regular massive gifts. I have a few of them. So when the gift rotation comes out, I actually have some to spare. For some reason, I only have one moon bear box, I think because I opened all the other ones that I had for a video. We have the pony box from last Christmas. And ooh, this is another one of my favorite items. Gotta be super careful not to open it. This is the premium monkey box. Now, this is the one that you could get the albino monkey out of. I don't think you could get the albino monkey out of the regular monkey box. It had to be the Robux one. So this is a really cool item. I wonder if I even own a gorilla box at this moment in time. I don't think that I do. And then of course we have the RGB reward boxes. I actually don't know how I have so many. And then the rat box. These, I never see them anywhere. Whenever I see somebody trading a rat box, I always try to offer for it because I just never see them. They're so scarce. Moving on, we have, you know, the petware chest, the regal chest. We have the scarecrow box from this Halloween, the regular petware chest, the walrus box from last year, the wolf box from last Halloween. We even have the ox box, which, you know, as you guys know, this isn't my favorite, but it's not bad. This was the first video I ever did with Fishy. I think we opened ox boxes together on my channel. And then as you guys know, the bat box, this is one of my favorite items ever. I love the little cloak on top of it. I love the little bat icon. Pretty sure the second video I ever did on my channel was just opening like 50 bat boxes and that still holds a place in my heart. We have bat boxes, big gifts, and then this is the regular monkey box. Not as cool as the premium one. It doesn't have all the glowy bits to it, but you can get a monkey out of here as well as like the accessories from the fairground. And then just the Halloween mummy cat box. I believe this was from two Halloweens ago. It looks cool, but people just don't like the Halloween cats that much. And then the last thing was just a normal small gift. So I think I am missing... I I am missing a gorilla box. I don't own one. That's the only gift that I'm missing. So gotta trade for one of those soon. And while we move on to the next category, I would like to go to my next house. So this is the house that I had when I very first started my channel and the house I had when I met Fishy. So this was kind of like my grinding house. I worked so hard on it. I actually loved it so much. I used to try to promote my YouTube and even my Instagram because I used to do a lot of trades on Instagram. I designed this pool room. I actually thought it was really, really cool. I was an amateur builder, but I had fun with it. And then this, this area right here, this is where Fishy and I used to raise pets together when we first became friends. This area is so nostalgic. The kitchen, I worked so hard on the kitchen. I don't know why I thought that I ate with this. I thought this was the coolest kitchen in the world. Before we get to the toy section, I just kind of want to show you guys the upstairs. I even made Fishy his own room when we became friends. I did have a giant fish on the wall, but I was, I thought it looked hideous, so I took it down. Up to Fishy Blocks, his room is all purple. I even bought one of those super expensive potions to make it look like water was falling. I really decked 
his room out and then this was just a random extra room that we used to hide in sometimes when we were trying to grind and raise and people would find us. And then the last room is my room. I thought that I ate with this, the lights and everything. I worked so hard on this room to make it aesthetic. But again, it's that like depressing gray color because I don't know, I thought it looked good at the time. So now we can get into the toys. So I have both a bees blaster, which you know, this is a very controversial item. People don't like that it kind of devalued the candy can and we have the bees blaster. And then I also do have two candy cannons. Now I think that this is the coolest thing ever. Real ones remember when the candy corn used to turn into lollipops in your inventory. This was always my dream item. I just loved it. It's Halloween. It gives you candy corn. What's not to like about it? Now I also have the flying broomstick. I think it actually, oh, it is nighttime. So I can fly around on it. I love that it only works at night. That makes it such a special and cool item. This is one of my favorite items in the whole game. Not many people care about it or trade for it. And I really never see anybody with them. And then, you know, these are some items from Reason. The Frost Claw Plus just left the game. We have a ton of paint sealers, have no value. Comment down below if you've ever used a paint sealer on any of your pets. I'm curious. This is the only pet that I've ever used it on. It's I made a dog pink. So you know how we have like the blue dog and the pink cat. I wanted a pink dog. So I did use a paint sealer on this one. Getting back to the inventory though, I love all the legendary items. I don't think I have them all. I do think I'm missing some, but some of the ones that I think are cool are this staff ingredient. Cause think about it. Everybody used this to make King monkeys or monkey kings or whatever it's called. So not many of the ingredients are still left over in the game. I thought that that was pretty cool. And then scrolling down through the ultra rare items, we have a lot of the stuff that you still see. There's a lot of stuff that's not in game. The disco explosions are no longer in game. I actually hate when people throw these things. I don't know why I don't like being forced to dance against my will. The celebration launcher that just came into the game. We have a griffin propeller. It's a lot of old toys. The magic house door, one of the only items I have favorited because I actually do like to use it. I know you guys say you could just reset your character, but when I do that, then I lose all my candy and potions, so I just prefer to use the magic house door. Some of my other favorite items are like this marshmallow stand. I don't think I could place it in a house, but I just like getting unlimited marshmallows when I'm grinding. The hot cocoa stand, which is no longer in game, but it's super cool. We have all the stands. We have the hot dog, the lemonade, this phoenix plush. This is kind of an old rare plushie. I don't think that it is very common in the game. I actually think it was very hard to find when I was trading for it. I think that was in an old video of trying to complete my journal. You guys can stop and take a look at anything that you want to look at. I'm trying to show everything. That's why I'm kind of continuously talking so I don't cut any of this out. Okay, the unicorn leash and the unicorn plush. These are such cool items. They're just, I don't know how to explain it. They're just awesome. And Adopt Me had to give them this weird texture in the inventory so people wouldn't accidentally get scammed thinking that they're trading for a unicorn. But yeah, those items are cool. The, all the old plushes from the old events are really, really cool. They don't really hold their value anymore like the ones from the recent events, but the ones from the old events definitely do. The problem with the toys is that there are just so many in the game. It is genuinely so hard to keep up. I love this plushie used to be bigger, didn't it? I feel like this plushie was bigger. Did they did they shrink the size of this plushie? Now, guys, as we watch this, I want you to know that this is not a rainbow rattle. This is a clouds and rainbow rattle. This is not worth multiple mega shadow dragons. This is worth nothing. You could buy it in the stroller shop, so don't be fooled. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of keep scrolling down here. If you guys see anything that you think is like really cool, let me know. Oh, the hugging egg. This is another super old toy that I think is cool. The top of his head is cracked. You could give it a little hug because it's a plushie. And I just think that that's like a kind of a cool one. Okay, what else do we have? The kangaroo pogo stick. That's pretty old. I'll take it out for any of you guys who don't know what it is, but it's a pogo stick and it literally looks like a really, really long torsoed kangaroo, like the actual kangaroo from the game. And if I'm not mistaken, I actually believe that this has a little kangaroo that comes out of its pouch every now and again. It's either this or it's either this thing or the kangaroo stroller. There's some item that like a weird kangaroo comes out of it. I don't know if it's this thing, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. So as we scroll down, you know, we have a lot of the recent toys. We do have a new balloon. I don't think that that's very recent. I think that's, oh, it's see-through and like reflective. That's, that's kind of cool. And nothing too crazy. Oh, except this. This is one of the coolest items. And I love that I own two. This is the headless pumpkin. So you shake it and it makes your head disappear kind of as if you had, you know, real headless from Roblox. But it obviously only works in the game of Adami. It makes your head go away. And if you want to make your head come back, you just shake it again. And voila, there's my face. Yeah, that is absolutely one of my favorite toys in the whole game. And so is the tombstone, but we're going to get to the, yep, there it is. There's the tombstone. So the tombstone makes your whole avatar a ghost. And it's really cool. I used to use this all the time and just like hop into my servers and kind of spy on people, but I don't think it hides your name to other people. So people could still see like my name and me running around. You're not fully invisible, but I mean, come on, you're pretty invisible. This is another item I never see people talk about or trade. I think the people who have them just kind of keep them. And the Teddy Skelly is 
um, it's honestly kind of hideous. And the weirdest part about it is I feel like the way that it looks in the inventory is nothing like what it looks like when you spawn it out. It looks like it has ears here, but then here it doesn't have any ears. So that's weird. But um, yeah, you can hug it. It's just, it's kind of the creepiest item in this game. I just don't know if any of you guys are toy collectors. I still kind of am. Like, I'm still trying to be one. The axe rattle, this is my favorite rattle. They just don't make super dangerous, controversial rattles like this anymore. And as we scroll down, you're just gonna see, like, a lot of stuff. We're already at the kind of the bottom of it. We're almost done. Just, you know, some more plushies. I'm not gonna take them all out. This was from the advent calendar. I have a lot of Chinese lanterns. I also see nobody talk about this, but what's fun is if you run in a circle, you can make it spin as it goes up, and I just think that that's kind of fun. I used to do this all the time. My favorite kind of items are ones that are interactive. Like, I love the Adopt Me toys that you can actually take out and play with and they do something. I have the Creator Rattles, both of them, both New Fissy and B Think. I'm super proud of that. The Dragon Balloon, one of my favorite items. It's just, it's interesting that they made the dragon blue, but we never had a blue dragon come into the game. I always thought that that was kind of like an interesting item. I have the Donut Rattle. I love that rattle. This Egg Rattle is fun too. Did I pass the Money Rattle? Because that's also a rattle that's really, really fun. But yeah, you just see these like fun rattles. It has the old Roblox R on it. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of like a fossil. Lots of other random stuff that's just like older. And that's my favorite stuff to collect. Just like the older, like limited items, the older plushies, like the ice cream plush. But then you're starting to see more recent stuff. Oh, the Panda Pal. This is a super old item. This was super hard to find. I don't know what it's from. Probably a gift rotation or something. It looks like it doesn't even belong in Adopt Me. It like looks nothing like the Adopt Me Panda or anything like that. And then here is the bottom. I don't think there's any super interesting common toys that I have. We have some stuff from the fossil event when that was going live. And yeah, just a bunch of like other random stuff. The snowman plush, the reindeer plush. Those are all old. Oh, the pumpkin rattle. This is also one of my favorite rattles because it's like the headless pumpkin. But yeah, I don't think you guys are too, too interested in the toys, but I just like to show it for the people who are toy collectors and do like to see, you know, inventories with toys in them. This gift throw toy, you know, like just, just some cool old items in Adami that you don't always see every day. And now I think we will move on to my fall build house. Okay, so this is another house where I watched a tutorial. I am just not a good builder on my own. I wish I could say exactly what tutorial it was. Like, I wish I could link it for you guys, but I genuinely just don't know. But yes, I did follow a tutorial to make this house. It's nothing too crazy, but I just thought that it was super cute, and I love the fall theme, and I love, like, the little kitchen when you first walk in. It's very cramped in here, so kind of hard to record, but we're gonna move on to the vehicles. Now, I know you got a sneak peek of the top of the vehicles, but we're gonna start from the bottom. So, the Shadow Dragon skateboard was like a recent thing. Oh, we can't spawn vehicles, so we should go outside, actually. Okay, yeah, so this Shadow Dragon skateboard was a recent thing. It was like a code that was released that you could redeem, like, over there in the trade hub. And then, as you guys see, we have some cool older items, like a neon snowboard. Now, these are super, super hard to control. As we scroll up, we have, like, a lot of random bicycles. Oh, the toy delivery truck. This was another one that you got for redeeming a code in the trade hub. I don't think that the codes work anymore. Well, let's continue to scroll up and see if we see anything cool. The clown unicycle. That's from the monkey fairgrounds event. This strawberry shortcake skates. I don't even know where that's from. We have the pizza unicycle. That's pretty cool. The melon skateboard. That's also super old. With just, I like the older items. We have the duck scooter. It has like a bunch of cute little ducks on it. We also have the emoji scooter that literally is just covered in emojis. And then these are all the scooters I have, but you guys will see that in just a second. We have a bunch of Zambonis. I don't know why I have so many Zambonis. I think I was trading them for a video. We have one toxic barrel. The super jetpack. Some of the stuff I only have one of because it was like a lot of Robux or it was expensive. I do have the RGB vehicles, the UFO. Here's the UFO. It's actually pretty, pretty cool. Super interesting item. And then, and then we also have the RGB monster truck. I mean, when you think about it, it's literally like a vehicle that's mega neon. Like it changes colors like a mega neon pet. I just think that's so cool. Okay, so you guys see all the neon scooters that I have. These don't have much value. The only one that does is the neon black scooter, but I obviously don't own that one. We have the lunar muscle car, which literally is like a Dodge Challenger, like actually, which is one of my favorite cars. We have a ton of rocket racers from the rewards. We have the Husky sled. This was pretty cool. I think this is what you got for opening like a certain number of advent calendar doors last year. It's literally pulled by two Huskies. It's so cute. And then we get to the heart hoverboard, which I recently learned that this was actually released during an old Adopt Me Valentine's event. And then it was just in the Robux shop for a really long time. This was such a cheap item. It was only like 35 Robux, but I do believe that they have removed it now. We have the Ice Queen sleigh from Christmas 2019. This is kind of like an older item. And then we have one of my 
favorite vehicles, which is the ghost vehicle. This has such a high value. These are so hard to find. It's so cute and derpy. Is it a dog? Is it just a random ghost? What is it exactly? I couldn't tell you, but I, I love this vehicle so, so much. It's spooky. It's cool. It drives pretty fast and pretty smooth. Oh my gosh, the festive deliveries present truck. This was so much gingerbread last year. This was so expensive. I have no idea how I have three of them. I must have gotten some in a trade or something. The flower wagon. This was from their like spring event a really long time ago. This was another one that was kind of difficult for me to get. I'm just gonna slowly scroll up. We have some unicycles that are pretty old and cool, like the cookie one and the donut one. This candy camper, which I believe we got this year. The unicorn cycle. This was like one of like the first like older vehicles that I ever got in the game. I thought it was really cool. If you scroll up, we get some traveling house. I believe this was in the gift rotation at one point in time, but it's cool because you can actually like go inside of it and there's like a place to sit. There's like a little loft with a bed. There's an oven and like a little kitchen that like the fact that you could go inside the vehicle is just that's such a cool feature of it. We have the shadow rider, a Santa sleigh, really cool legendary vehicle. I actually love the Santa sleigh. I love that it hovers and it kind of like shoots out like magical sparkles. Sorry guys, I'm not, I'm not the best driver in Adopt Me and I never said that I was. The rocket sled, which I think is the fastest vehicle in the game. I will do my best. Whoa, okay. I will do my best to control it, but there's just absolutely no promises. It's just too fast. Like it's too fast. I don't know anybody who can drive this smoothly, but I am I am not that person. The ribcage carriage. This was from the first year that I ever played a Halloween event in Adopt Me. This was the 2021. I like it. It's spooky. It's creepy. I think it looks really cool. As we get to the legendary stuff, we start to see the way cooler items like the pumpkin carriage. I love this vehicle. This was kind of like my dream vehicle when I was first starting Adopt Me. It was super hard to get. People wanted like a lot of legendaries for it, but it was totally worth it because I love my pumpkin carriage. And then you see a bunch of other carriages, you know, like ones from game passes, like the princess carriage, the prince carriage, the royal carriage, the original OG monocycle, which these are pretty cool. They're actually kind of fun to drive. The mono moped is also an old and rare vehicle. I don't know what this is worth, but I know it's worth something good. Like it's worth like a decent legendary. Okay, so I'm trying to show you guys everything, but also just try to show like only kind of like my favorite stuff. We have the horse and carriage. We have the fireworks cycle from this year. The festive delivery sleigh. I think this was last year. Was this Robux? I genuinely can't remember. I kind of feel like it was. It's like we already have the Santa sleigh. I don't think that we needed this one too. Okay, we have the dragon train. This one is ridiculous. Is this only the second train that we have in Adopt Me? I don't know, but this thing is actually like crazy. It's like the biggest vehicle ever. We have this egg delivery machine, which also was a lot of candy at the Easter event. It was just super expensive. Okay, the donut cycle, another one of my favorite OG vehicles. It's just so cute. It's pink and it has donuts. The dogmobile was also one of my favorite vehicles. It's just so cute. It's, you know, it's literally like a hot dog, like a dachshund. Okay, almost just at the end there, we got the dino truck, the cloud vehicle. I think Fishy, I think Fishy actually got this for me or did it? No, I might've traded this for myself. I actually don't remember. I got this such a long time ago. It was my dream vehicle because look at this rainbow trail. Like you've got to be kidding me. It's just, it's iconic. It is like the cutest, coolest vehicle ever. And then really the last good vehicles that I feel like I have to show here are just the bunny carriage, which is probably the oldest carriage in Adopt Me, I think. I think this is a super old carriage. This might've even come out before they even had pets. I could be wrong about that, but I'm not sure. And then the bathtub car. This car is so cool. I love, like it is just so weird. It's a bathtub. It's a vehicle. I don't know. This is one of my favorite vehicles in the whole game. I just love it. I love that it's just, it's so weird. And it's like no other vehicle, honestly. Like what other vehicle do we have that is anything like this? And I would go to my lunar house, but I never built it. I just bought it. So that one's kind of boring. We can go to, so I think that this is the house that I had built for Halloween this year. Yeah, this is the house that you probably saw me recording in like all of Halloween. I just did like a quick little build, you know, for grinding purposes and just for spooky purposes. And now we can move on to the food, which is a really quick category, but also a category we got to be really careful about. So the honey candy's at the top of my inventory because I just shot the honey bees blaster thing. So we'll start at the bottom. Now Adami had removed a lot of food from the game. So some of these things may seem simple, like who cares about a taco, but I think that they removed it. I think they removed a lot of these food items. I have so much seaweed because it was free. Adami did some sort of collab and it was free. We have a strawberry shortcake. I don't even know where that's from. Pie from the food shop, just some pet food. A lot of this stuff is still available in game, but some of it's not. Like the moon cake. This was from one of the Lunar New Year's events. So we have this moon cake. It's really special. We're going to try not to eat it. Another 
another cool food item is this ice tub. This is one of my favorite items. I have genuinely no idea where it's from, but it's just so pretty looking and I only have one of it and it hasn't been eaten at, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, a lot of this stuff is all still available in game. You can still get a whole bunch of this stuff, but then we have three dim sums, but two of them only have one use left. So I'm gonna take out the one that has two uses left just in case I accidentally click. But yeah, it's just some cute dim sum. Now, I don't know where this is from. I don't know if it's from like the, I don't know if it's from like an event or where it was from or if there was some food shop, but I'm gonna assume it was from an event. Oh, I almost skipped the cotton candy. So this is the candy that you got from like opening the monkey boxes. This cotton candy here, this one, but then now there's a different cotton candy because we have a cotton candy stand. So this is the monkey fairground cotton candy. And then this cotton candy stick is the one that you get from the cotton candy stand. So it's not as special. It's kind of underwhelming. It kind of looks like chewed up bubble gum on a stick, but moving right along, we have a cookie. We have a chocolate twist. I want to say that this was maybe from like an Easter event or something. It just kind of looks like a stick, but I love the rare old items. So we have chocolate milk. We have a chocolate egg. We have three of them. So again, I think that this might have been from like an Easter event or something. We also just have a bar of chocolate. Now I only have one of these, but it's really cool. You can even see like the little breakable pieces of the bar of chocolate. We have some candy corn from the candy cannon, the candy cane cake, which we got at the advent calendar this year, this actual candy cane, which only has one use on it. And I only have one of it. So I gotta be super careful. I cannot accidentally click. It has a cute bow on it. You can just definitely tell the style of Adopt Me has definitely just like improved. Like all of their items just look a lot more polished and a lot better. But I love love this. I love old rare foods. I bought a bunch of cake before the grocery store left. I have 25 slices of cake, some big head potions. I even have the ash zebra bait. I haven't placed any of them. I'd rather just keep them as like a collectible food item. I could just trade for ash zebras if I need them. We have some of the Easter eggs. You guys know I love the patterns egg. You guys always try to give this egg to me. I love this egg. I feel bad because I don't show the stars egg or the stripes egg enough love, but I don't know. The patterns egg is just way cooler. We got the snowflake cookie that we got this year from the advent calendar. We have a pet treat, some coconut drink. I think this is from, where is this from? Maybe the summer event, or maybe it comes with like a certain weather. I don't know. And then we have the water walking potion. I don't know if you guys remember when this blew up, people were like trading crazy things for this. I don't even know. I still think it's a really rare potion, but I just don't think people care about them anymore. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, this potion lets you walk like underwater. Like you can just like in Adopt Me, you could go to like the river and you could walk on it. We have a translucent potion. These are really expensive, but I used to like to give them to my pets to make them look like ghosts. We have a lot of the potions that you could still get. We have molten melons again, just a collectible food item now. Some ice lollies from the cold weather. I don't know how to pronounce this food, but this is from, I believe, the desert shop, I think. I think we get this in the desert shop when the desert weather is here. I have a levitation potion. This was also removed from the potion shop, so now it has a little bit more value. We have a leaf. These are the things that you could use to throw to get like the butterflies when that whole butterfly sanctuary came. I also only have one golden one. So this is how you get the diamond butterflies, but it's a really low chance. We have some Christmas pudding pup bait. Again, I'm not gonna place the bait. I just would rather collect it. Some ride and fly potions, a mud ball, the golden wheat to use during the fall weather time, and then the broken egg, which is like a really old, really rare food item that I'm happy to have. And it looks exactly like a cracked egg that, you know, like you hatch. And now my millionaire mansion, which you guys know is my just regular house. This is just my favorite house because it's so big and so open and we always use use this house when me and the potioneers always are like grinding for pets and stuff. It's just super convenient and I've put a lot of work into decorating it even if it doesn't look like it. So this house is where we will probably do the rest of our inventory tour. So now we get to move on to strollers. Now I've shown you guys my stroller collection before but I'm just gonna do a quick stroll and only stop on the ones I think are really cool. We will try to use Sprinkles as our model as long as he doesn't get like stinky or sick but I love the vampire stroller. I also love the trike stroller. It's just it's super old. It's really hard to find. I somehow have two of them. As we scroll on up, you see some of the old ones from the baby shop that no longer are in the game or stroller shop, whatever you want to call it. We have some of the more recent strollers you get from the gift rotations, this pumpkin stroller from 2020. We also have some cooler older ones like the pizza stroller. This one is so fun. I don't know why. I just like love how like flat and like big that it is. And here's a stroller that I love to collect, but I don't love the practicality of it. It's just so like, I feel like you would knock somebody out with this thing trying to stroller all around. It's just, it's way too, I don't know. It's just way too long. And now if we scroll on up, we are going to get to one of my favorite strollers in the world, which is the heart stroller. Now, Adopt Me never adds double strollers like ever. I think they actually did for the first time in a while recently.
recently. But yeah, this heart stroller, obviously it came with Adopt Me's Valentine's event. I forgot what year that was, like 2018 or 2019. I really hope we get a Valentine's event this year. Yeah, the heart stroller is one of my favorites. There's the hatched egg stroller, which this doesn't really have high value probably because it's so basic. We have some more recent ones. And then this is technically, I think, the best stroller in the game. I'm pretty sure that this is worth a frost dragon. We have one Egbert stroller, or it's just called the egg stroller, but we call it the Egbert stroller. It's very rare and very hard to find. This is like a really good item for a stroller collector. And as we scroll on up, we're just gonna see some strollers from older like gift rotations and stuff, like the crate strollers from an older gift rotation. Nothing special. As well as the doghouse stroller. Now, I do like this one because it just, it's giving Adopt Me. Like it's just, it looks so iconic and just reminds me of Adopt Me. And then as we scroll up, the cauldron stroller. This was my dream stroller when I first started the game in 2020. I wanted this stroller so bad. It was all I wanted in the whole world and I got it. I love the little bubbles. It's like a little brew pot. Ooh, the cradle stroller. This is also a hard to get stroller. It's very collectible. I definitely think that it has a decent value. It's nothing like the egg Bert stroller. We have the banana stroller. This one's silly. This was probably from a gift rotation too. We have some other strollers, more, more recent ones. Like I feel like a lot of these are recent. Oh, but the airplane stroller definitely is not. This was also a very hard stroller to get. It's just, you know, if they're older, they're harder to get. And a lot of these, I don't know where they're from. I'm going to assume most of these are from previous gift rotations. The wheelbarrow stroller. This was from Adami's, I think like the spring event. The same thing as like the flower wagon. We have the unicorn stroller. This is what started my addiction for collecting strollers. Somebody had this out one day and I was in a random server and I was like, I need that stroller. So this was the first stroller I ever collected that was like an out of game stroller and it made me obsessed with them. And then we have the triple stroller, which if you like grinding and like, you know, using alt accounts and grinding for neons and megas, you know that this is a handy stroller to have. Now there is one stroller better than this. We have the reindeer stroller. This is one of my favorite ones. I think it's kind of weird though because your pet sits like backwards on it. I don't know why your pet wouldn't sit facing outward on it, but I didn't design it. We have the rainbow stroller, which is no longer in the stroller shop, but it used to be. And this is a stroller that I think was probably my favorite stroller at the time. It has like little stars that it's sprinkling out. It has a rainbow trail, a rainbow handle. Like this is a really cute stroller for something that you could have just bought in the stroller shop. But I do think it was expensive. I want to say it was like a thousand AMC. But yeah, that one's one of my favorites. The race car stroller. This is also one that's really hard to find. Obviously, as you can tell, I only have one of it. We have the popsicle stroller, which is actually Fishy's favorite stroller. Whenever we would raise pets together, he would always use this stroller. So he loves this one. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying not to stop on every single stroller, but some of these are just so old and iconic. I feel like I have to show them. So the Peapod stroller is the most recent stroller that they actually made a double stroller, which I'm surprised because they haven't made a double stroller in a while, but I want a side-by-side -side double stroller. Like I want something like the popsicle stroller or something like the heart stroller where it's two pets that go side-by-side. -side. Anyways, we also have the kangaroo stroller. Now, I don't know if this is the one where some sort of kangaroo item pops out of it. I could be crazy. This is just a big chunky stroller. It was one of the first strollers I collected as well. Okay, we're almost done. This is also one of my favorite strollers. I, I feel like I keep saying that this is one of my favorite, but this really is. Like, this really is one of my favorites. It's probably my number... Uh, I don't know what to say. It was just, it was really hard to collect. It's definitely got to be in my top five, maybe even top three. Number one is definitely got to be the heart stroller and the cauldron strollers up there, but I would say that this is tied for second with the cauldron stroller. And then we have the french fries stroller. This one is just like funny. I like strollers that are like food. The flower stroller. This was also from like that spring fest with like the flower wagon. We have both the Easter stroller and the bunny stroller and the half egg stroller. I think all of those were all from like an Easter event one year. It's like three of these strollers and they're all very colorful and cute. We have the duck stroller, which I think that this is like a fan favorite. I feel like a lot of people like to collect these duck strollers. I could be wrong. The cannon stroller, which isn't too old. It was kind of like recent when I first started playing Adopt Me. The first legendary stroller to ever come in the game. And I think it's still the only legendary stroller unless I'm crazy. Oh, the floating hand stroller. I don't know how I don't own that. I, I definitely need to get my hands on that. I'm missing a few strollers actually, but I know that I will just trade for them. I'm definitely gonna have to complete my whole stroller collection. But okay, this was the first legendary stroller to come into the game when they redid the whole stroller shop. But in my opinion, this is also one of the rarest strollers in Adopt Me. I would say it's like, I don't know. It's not as rare as the egg bird, but it's up there. This was one of the hardest strollers I had to find when I was completing my stroller collection. It might've even been like one of the last one or two. But yeah, this one just floats and you just hold it with your hands. It has no wheels, no legs, nothing. There are sprinkles inside of it in case you guys want to see what it looks like with a pet in it. But yeah, definitely need to get my hands on the floating hand stroller. Okay, so the next category is pet wear. There's just no possible way I could go through all of this pet wear and like try on everyone for a pet. But there are just a couple that come to mind that I'm going to 
going to show you guys. But all I'm going to do is just scroll through my inventory just one time so you guys can kind of like slow down the video if you need to and you could just look at everything. Oh, this detective hat. I thought this detective hat was cool. This is the one that you got from the Scoob event. You had to like help Scoob find his collar or something and then you got this like detective outfit. Okay, and we're just going to keep scrolling again. You guys can stop and look. I do have quite a lot of pet wear, but I don't even use it like that often, which is probably pretty bad. I probably should use it. A lot of this stuff comes into like the hat shop rotation, just not too often. Like I said, there's only a few things I'm going to stop on. So just get a good look. Oh, I love this ninja headband. That's a really, really cool one. But I think that that's in the hat shop like pretty often. A lot of this stuff is from events. This one was from like a collab that Adopt Me did. And a lot of this stuff you got from like Christmas or Halloween or just, you know, any event that you could think of. I love the little chef hat one. I don't know where that's from, but it's just really, really cute. We have the briefcase from the business monkey. I think I have all the monkeys pet wear. I'm pretty sure that I do. And then there's this witch hat, which I think is actually like a really older pet wear item that a lot of people like. I'm not really sure. People always want this witch hat. Okay, I love the wind up key toy. I always put that on like one of my robo dogs. That's a cute item. Again, guys, you could just like take a look at the pet wear. I know you really want to get to the pet. And I think pet wear is super cool and super fun to collect. But there's just way too much of it. I could make a whole video alone on just showing like all the pet wear that I have. Oh, the founder's crown. That's another one. This came out when Adami first introduced pet wear as a thing. There was like a little quest that you had to do. And you got like a throw a key that was like a throw toy. And you had to like unlock like the vault. And then you got this crown. We have the flower aura. And we have the fiery aura, but I've never ever seen the icy aura. I'm pretty sure it's a myth at this point. We have some Christmas pet wear. Oh, this is the one I wanted to show you guys. So if you guys know when Adopt Me first launched their Christmas event in 2019, when you bought the shrew, it came with like this little elf hat. It was like, I don't know if it was called the elf shrew, but yeah, when you bought your shrews, it came with an elf hat. And then when Adopt Me introduced pet wear, it became detachable. So I own just a few elf hats. I really, really love them. I love to collect them. Now there's this bewitched hat which is not the same as the witch's hat and sometimes people get scammed by getting bewitched hats instead of the witch's hats but they're completely different things we have some stuff from adopt me's birthday party a couple years ago and now we're getting into like the higher tier pet wear this is like all the stuff that's kind of harder to get we have the ultra rare stuff and then we have the santa hat which is like the same thing so when adopt me had their christmas event in 2019 this was called the santa dog it was not called a dalmatian and it came with the santa hat on it and then again when adopt me introduced pet wear they made this detachable so you could put it on any pet and now we're kind of getting into like the pet wear that you could get in the shops or you can get from the new pet wear chest like a lot of this stuff is from the shops or from the pet wear chest we have some fun wings we have like there's a lot of fun stuff i do like a lot of this pet wear i just don't utilize it enough the bat wings used to be one of my favorite pet wears to put on my pet and then as far as a legendary pet wear goes i do have a good amount of it i have the toaster hat the rainbow maker i know you guys are like crazy about this rainbow maker i think it actually yeah it produces a rainbow while you run with your pet. So it's definitely a really cool item. So we have that. We have the rain cloud hat, the sushi skateboard, the waterfall hat. I think I recently tried to like collect all of the legendary stuff. The light bulb hat I have on my bad dragon light bulb. And yeah, this is all the legendary pet wear that I have. The bone wings were from the fossil event. Sprinkles wore the brain jar for Halloween. I do not like this golden hair one. It's super creepy. The growing flower hat from the gift rotation. So I, I might have it all. Oh, I don't have it all. Okay, but a lot of these items that I don't have, I've literally never seen seen before. But yeah, that's it for the pet wear. And now we can go to the category you guys have all been waiting for, which is the pet. Now I can't stop and look at every single pet because we would just be here all day. But I want you guys to know that I actually don't have that many mega pets. Like you would think that I would, you guys think that I'm rich, but I really don't have that many. A lot of the pets that I have are just like bundles of newborn pets. Like maybe it's a lot of pets, but it's not a lot of like high tiers or a lot of megas. I know you're seeing some megas, but keep in mind, we're going from the commons up. So now we're at the uncommons and I do have some neons and megas, but if I could be so honest, okay, wait, we do have a lot of snowmen. I will admit that. But if I could be honest, I actually always prefer the neon version of a pet versus the mega version. I just feel like pets in their neon version just like look so much better. I feel like that's like their true form when they're mega. It's like they just kind of look like every other mega pet. I prefer to see pets like when they're neon and I'm like, oh my God, that's what you look like. Like that's your, you at your best self. But when they're mega neon, I feel like, again, they just kind of look like everything 
else. So I'm more into collecting neons than megas. And I do really want to get back into like collecting and kind of like simplifying my inventory. I recently actually just collected every single pet and adopt me. Like, you know, at least like one of every pet, just like in a regular version. I completed my journal on that. I feel like my next mission is I'm gonna try to get every single pet in a neon version. I know that that sounds crazy. Like my neon blue dog. I am obsessed with this neon blue dog. I named him Blue's Clues. He's adorable. I just feel like he looks... Oh, okay, now he's stinky. I just feel like pets look better as their regular version and as their neon version. Now, here's where we get to the bats. You guys give me so many bats for Queen Brit. Batty Brit for the best YouTuber. You guys are so sweet. And obviously, I keep all the bats. Like, I don't give them away. So a lot of these bats are, like, literally just from you guys, like, giving them to me. Someone even gave me a mega bat one time. I don't remember which one was the one. But look how many mega bats I have, you guys. You guys always try to give me mega bats. I have nine of them. I have nine mega fly ride bats. Oh my gosh, no, I have 10. This one's grouped together. So I have 10. I have 10 mega bats and so many neons and so many normals. So please don't feel the need to give me bats. I have a ton. And now we're just scrolling through the uncommons. This is taking absolutely forever, but I know you guys want to see it. I know you guys are nosy and I get it. I'm nosy too. I want to know what people have in their inventory. So we got some neon swans. As we scroll up, we have a ton of shrews. I was collecting shrews at one point, but then I saw shrew in the neon form and okay. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't like it. I don't think that it looks good as a pink neon. His eyeballs look weird. I love the shrews, but I don't like them neon. So that's why I keep most of my shrews just as normal because I actually just prefer them normal than the neon version. And let's just scroll on through our rares. Now there's a lot of pets here that I don't love. I like the Sasquatch. The Sasquatch is cute. We got the rhino. As you guys know, I much prefer like older pets, like pets from before 2020. So anything that's like a 2019 pet or older, like the rats, I was collecting the rats for a while. I just prefer those. Like I like the polar bears. Oh yeah, I forgot I gave away my neon polar bear on Twitter. And my egg collection. I love collecting eggs. This is a named pink egg. It's named black egg and it's untouched. That's one of my favorite eggs. And then we have a whole bunch of pigs from the farm egg. We have like a whole bunch of other cool stuff. I don't know. I just, oh, we got so many monkeys. The monkeys got no value. I got two mega ones. Like just, just the stuff that's lower value. I feel like I might have. We have some koi carps. These are actually really, really pretty. I like the koi carp. I actually think the koi carp looks really cool. It actually kind of matches my outfit. And then we get to the kiwi pet. We have some of those. The ibex. Oh, the hyenas. I do wish I had more hyenas. I think that they're so cute. This was one of the pets that I tried to get really early on in the game. The hyenas are cute. I don't mind their neon form. I feel like it could have been a different color, but I'm not mad about it. We have some huskies. I love the huskies. They're so cute. We have some, finally, we have some hairs. I had none of these, and now recently I've gotten a ton of them, so I'm happy about that. The Halloween evil dachshund. This was the only pet that I liked from that year of Halloween. I did not like that Halloween event. And we're gonna, oh, we have a neon goose. I think I got this from Bella. I might be wrong. I feel like I might have traded Bella for that. Not sure. Recently only got one ghost dog. This is the evil rock that's for the giveaway today. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down your Roblox username. The Dilophosaurus. I love the Dilophosaurus. It's probably my favorite. No, it's one of my favorite pets from the fossil egg. My favorite is the Stegosaurus, but I do love the Dilophosaurus. Now I know this is something you guys all want to see, so this is how many cows I have and I know I know that a cow is a lot of people's dream pets but I am just so attached to my pets that I just I think I've given a cow away like twice I gave one away for a video and I gave one away to somebody random and it's, it's just so hard for me to part with them I love them so much but I have one mega cow and his name is mega leche and yes I think that this is one of the pets in the game that I do think looks amazing in mega form and then I have the neon cow that I actually made myself and I named it strawberry milk for fishy because fishy likes strawberry milk over chocolate milk and I think that that's crazy because I'm a chocolate milk girly, but yeah, I named my strawberry cow for him. So yes, I do love my cows. We're gonna move on from that. We got some brown bears. Okay, we have quite a few brown bears. I used to like offer these a lot to people or I used to just like give them away to people I would like see in my server. I have one blue egg that's untouched. This is one of my favorite eggs ever. I will never open it. It will always stay a blue egg and it will always stay untouched. As we scroll up, you're just gonna see like, it, I just have so many pets. I think that's the problem. Like I just have bundles of pets. Just imagine Adopt Me never added the stack feature. I feel like I'd have so many. And here are my beloved zombie buffaloes. I love them so much. I haven't made a mega yet. I feel like that's just me being lazy, but I also feel like because I have one that's neon ride and I feel like I want to keep it that way. So I feel like if I wanted to make a mega, I would have to get like another, I would have to make another neon one to make and like not use the ride. I don't know. I'm just weird. But yes, I have a lot of zombie buffaloes. I love them so much. I know everybody hates them and thinks that they're ugly, but I think that they're cute. I literally think that they're adorable. Like I don't, I don't know why anybody could hate him. And 
After the zombie buffaloes, we just have some yetis, some wyverns. We're getting into the ultra rare pets. I feel like this is where I'm gonna have like maybe not as many of like some pets. I feel like this is where we get scarce because when I'm trying to offer for stuff, I always go to like my legendaries and ultra rares and see what I have. And I try to offer like as much as I can for stuff whenever I am in videos and trading because I don't like to trade my pets that are my favorite. Okay, I have no idea why I have two mega core. I might have gotten this in a trade because it has a name on it and I don't really name my pets unless they're like one of my favorite pets or like a bat dragon. A mega red panda. That's the first mega that I ever made in the game. I love that mega red panda. Oh, and then we have some puffins. I have a mega puffin. I have a neon puffin. And I even gave a neon puffin away recently for Christmas on my Twitter. We only have one peppermint penguin and I'm super sad about it. I just, I did not want to spend my Robux. And then we have a bunch of the old penguins. These look much better. I am not a fan of the king penguins. I like the OG penguins. I like that the OG penguins are kind of like the owl where you ride on its head and he's like constantly waddling. Like this is a cute looking pet like how do not more people have this as their dream pet okay i'm now realizing there's so many ultra rares in the game so i'm gonna try to go faster but we have some more just extras neons we have some llamas from the farm egg oh we have the lion cub as well as the actual lion now this is called lion day cake Fishy gave this to me for my birthday one year i have no idea why i never said a lion was my dream pet or anything but i just think he thought that it was like a really really cool pet and he named it lion day cake after this we just have some of the lambs this was for the easter event and then we have some ladybugs some koalas and here is the king penguins that i don't love the irish water spaniel this was like the first like ugc pet that you got from buying five ugc items oh we only have two hedgehogs i wish i had more and i wish i had a neon one i'm definitely gonna have to get one eventually but i have two one no potion and one with just a ride potion on it so i think that's pretty cool oh and then the gingerbread reindeer these are one of my favorite pets and i was so sad i had to give away my only neon one for a giveaway that i did i really want to make a new neon gingerbread reindeer because it's one of my favorite neons in the entire game a lot of ginger cats a lot of scarabs we even have the ghost bunnies which i actually think the ghost bunnies are super cute nobody liked these pets when they first came out and adopt me they like thought that it was like underwhelming and stuff but i have always liked the ghost bunnies i love a derpy pet i love a simple pet something that's just cute and look his little tail glows we have some frogs we have a mega flower power duckling i don't know how i got that we only have two flamingos one of these was from my old friend rose and then i have a neon one we have three Dalmatians, one of which is neon. We have one neon crocodile. I really, really like the crocodiles. This is another pet where I feel like it just looks better in neon. Like he looks so good with his lighter green neon. And after that, I feel like there really aren't many good pets. I mean, we have some business monkeys and some pheasants, a lot of bees, so many bees. I have four neon bees and a mega. Like we just have way too many bees. I have these Arctic foxes. I love the Arctic foxes. And I think that you guys do too. So I'm going to show you. I even think it looks great in mega. I don't love that the neon one is pink i don't hate it either like obviously i think it looks good but i think it would have looked better in like an icy blue like come on arctic fox icy blue it just would have made more sense and then after the arctic fox we just have a ton of albino bats which i think sometimes people give these to me thinking that they're my favorite but they're actually fishy's favorite but i do have a ton i have my own bat buddy and then the one at the top is the african wild dog i love this pet i love it i love it i love it i love it in neon i know that he's sideways right now i love the neon version of this pet i love the normal version of this this pet this was like the best ugc pet in my opinion and now this is where we start our legendary journey so i have a couple zodiac minion eggs as well as the minion chicks but as you guys know i do not like these pets i think that they're ugly i think that they're an abomination i'm really sorry if you hate that opinion but that's just how i feel some yule log dogs i have a ton of the rap dolls still and as we scroll up i only have one werewolf i have a few unicorns one mega i'm trying to get more undead jousting horses because i really like the neon version of this and i want to make one i used to have so many turtles but i had to trade them all away to get Christmas eggs for some challenge that I did. I miss all my turtles. Now I only have three neon ones. I don't even have a normal. We have some T-Rexes. Again, you guys are going to start seeing that my legendaries, I don't have as many of some stuff because I usually offer for stuff with legendary pets. So my legendaries just have kind of been depleting a little bit. And so I have one no potion newborn shadow. Now it's not untouched. I wish that it was. That would be really, really cool. But it is a no potion shadow dragon. And then I have one fly ride one. It's not even full grown. I should probably full grown the shadow dragon. And then I have a, oh no, I died it. Okay, let me just clean off the shadow dragon because I feel like the shadow dragon deserves to be shown in all of its mega neon glory. The best pet in the game, the mega shadow dragon. Obviously, if this were a no potion mega, it would be more valuable, but mine is mega fly ride. I won this actually in a giveaway a really, really long time ago. I really want a neon shadow dragon. That's kind of like one of the goals that I have for my inventory. I really want a neon one. But let's just keep scrolling up because I 
know that you guys are waiting for one thing and one thing only. I know you don't care about this. We have a mega parrot and a neon one. Those are pretty cool. Only two owls. I gave my neon owl to a friend. And then as we keep scrolling up, I do have some ninja monkeys. Now, I like the ninja monkeys. I've also been collecting some Nessies recently. Those are going up in value. We have the monkey king. Again, this is one of, in my opinion, this is one of the coolest neon pets and so hard to get. It's also like an untouched neon. I just, it's such a unique color. I love like the blue. I think he's so special. Wow, I don't think I realized there are actually a lot of legendary pets in Adami. I feel like I'm gonna have to go faster. You guys can take a look at anything that you want in my inventory and just, you know, kind of see. There's some stuff I literally just have one of it. I have a whole bunch of lava dragons. Oh my goodness. We have some kitsune, some king bees. I actually have a decent amount of kangaroos right now. I used to have so many turtles, but now I have so many kangaroos. We have two jungle eggs, one of which is a named jungle egg that I've had forever and it's untouched. Some jousting horses. We have like the ice moth dragons, a couple ice golems, only two hot doggos and i've recently had to trade away some of my halloween white ghost dragons a ton of mummy cats that nobody wants we're gonna keep scrolling here these are like the boring pets we have golden penguins and golden rats those are probably my favorite golden pets out of all of them and then we have some golden dragons even a mega one which is actually pretty cool here are all the giraffes that i have and i used to actually have enough giraffes to make a mega giraffe but i don't want to talk about what i did with um one of my neon fly ride giraffes it's kind of a sad story i completely overpaid for something because i did not know value at the time. So I really overpaid for something with a neon giraffe. But we continue. We have some frost furies. I have some frost dragons. I have one kind of just like the shadow almost except I have a neon version too. I have the mega frost. I have a neon frost dragon. And we have a regular just ride frost dragon. I love older pets when they're like no potion or just like one potion. Ton of frost furies as well. We have a couple farm eggs. I wish I had more but you guys know when me and fishy do videos we have to open a ton of stuff. We have one neon evil unicorn. One regular just ride one. And I think one of the best, this is probably like, if not the best pet in my inventory, one of the best pets in my inventory. It's a mega diamond butterfly. I don't even know how I have this. I'm going to be honest, but I do think that it was back when the butterflies first came out. I think we were like grinding for them and me and Fishy were able to get one. Those are the diamond pets. And then none, none of these pets are really too exciting. Okay. And here is what I know you guys want to see. So I know you guys just want to see my bat dragons. You want to just see how many I have. I know that it's pretty crazy. I was on a mission to get 100 bat dragons but then i kind of ran out of stuff that i was willing to trade to be able to get more of them so i have two mega fly ride bat dragons and then a mega no potion one which i don't know why these are funny colors so as you know this one is named happy birthday fishy got this mega no potion bat dragon for me for my birthday it is probably like my prized possession other than sprinkles i love this bat dragon so much and then as you know we have sprinkles right here he hangs out with me all the time we know sprinkles we love sprinkles he's my best friend but then other than sprinkles so i have the three mega bat dragons and then i have let's see one two three four five six neon ones and three out of those six are neon no potions and then all the rest are just regular fly ride or just ride or even no potion one and some of them are even stacked so like you know this is a stack of seven this is a stack of seven but i have counted and i do have 49 regular bat dragons and when i say regular i don't mean like regular like not mega or neon i just mean like not like the strawberry one or or anything like that. So 49 OG bat dragons and in that mixture, some are neon and some are mega. So when you think about it, I kind of probably do almost have like a hundred bat dragons if you kind of like count these as 16 each or these as four each. And then after the bat dragons, I'm sure it's super underwhelming, but I just have one neon Arctic reindeer. I've had to trade a lot of my Arctic reindeers away. And then I have some albino monkeys. I have a mega one and just a couple albino gorillas that I've gotten in trade. The mega albino monkey is pretty cool. But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much my entire inventory in Adami, even in including all the houses that I kind of have owned and decorated. If you like this video, make sure to comment down below and thank you guys so much for watching.